What's up, my kings? Hope all is well. Hope y'all having a beautiful day. We finna get this workout in, feeling good, blessed, and never stressed. But the topic of today, it is better to be respected than to be liked. And we finna get into it. I'm finna tell you why. I got a little story time, too. It's better to be respected than liked. Now, I'm gonna give you a first example, talking about woman, per se, because this can correlate and translate to other areas of your life as well. So let's say you chasing this woman, right? You going above and beyond to try to get her to like you. You know, excuse me, damn, pre-workout going crazy. You trying to go above and beyond to get this woman to like you. You sending all the good morning texts. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, beautiful. Hope you slept well. And that's cool to do if it's your lady. You doing this for every single woman, my G? And she don't, well, I'm telling you, bro, these girls be laughing at you. These women be laughing at you, man. Unless she's your woman. Now, if she's your woman, she ain't going to be laughing. She's not going to be clowning you. But a lot of these women don't know when they have something good in front of them. And you can say the same thing about men, but we're not focusing on that right now. Men sometimes don't realize when they have a good woman in front of them, too. But we focusing on something very specific. Something very, very specific. Now, keep in mind what I said the topic of the video is. It's better to be respected than to be liked. So I'm going to give you a little bit of story time about me. And then we're going to dive back in to the topic. But it all correlates. It's going to come around full circle. You feel me? So back in my simping days, you know what I mean? I'm doing, I'm doing all this stuff I'm telling you guys not to do. You know, trial and error. I had to learn. You know, I'm sending a good morning text. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And I see this chick that I'm talking to. I see her in person. You know, I see she got she got hickeys all on her neck. I'm like, oh, that's not for me, though. It's not for me. So I'm just like, whoa, I've been texting you. We've been talking. We've been talking on the phone, FaceTime. But you got somebody else going to pound town, man. It's cool. Charge it to the game. Charge it. With, you know, sugar and salt look the same. Remember that. Sugar and salt look exactly the same. They both white. They both, you know what I'm saying, grainy. Charge it to the game. Sugar and salt, sugar and salt look the same. Charge it to the game. So I see her with all these hickey marks and stuff like that. I don't even question it. I don't even question it. I'm already knowing in my mind. It wasn't for me. And like, you ain't get burnt up or electrocuted or nothing like that. They're very specific. I'm, I know, bro. I know what's good with it. But what I keep doing? I keep texting her. I keep simping after. I keep sending the good, oh, good morning, beautiful. How you doing? How you sleep? Being, being a goofy. Being silly, bro. Fast forward. Fast forward some years. Now I'm not in my simping days. You know what I'm saying? Because back then, I was trying to be liked. And by me doing all of this and going above and beyond for this specific woman who I knew, deep down, who I knew, deep down, was not the woman for me at the time. But I didn't care. I went against my, I went against my own intuition. And fellas, never go against your own intuition. When you get that gut feeling, I don't care how bad she is. Bro, you better listen. You better listen. You can call it gut feeling, but that's God talking to you, bro. That's God telling you, no, son. No, son. No, no. Red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. And we wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. So I ended up getting hurt. You know what I'm saying? I got stories. I got stories. But focusing on this one, fast forward to the future, right? I'm dealing with this chick. So we agree to go out. You know what I'm saying? Not like date, but just go out, you know what I'm saying? Like bowling or something. I think we're going to get drinks or something like that. So I'm like, all right, bet. I tell her, texting her, okay, shawty, I'm going to pick you up. I'm coming to you to pick you up around 6.30. No, nah, not around. I said at 6.30. At exactly 6.30. I'm coming to pick you up. Okay. So I hit her up about 20 minutes because I was 
20 minutes out. You know what I'm saying? I stayed on a different side of town. But in my plan of scheming everything together, the like the location was close. The location was close to where I was picking her up from. So I hit her up like, I'm on the way. She's like, okay, I'm coming from somewhere. You know, she was just getting off work or something like that. And she was. She's not lying. Because she was. But she was like, I'm I'm five minutes away from the house. Keep in mind, I'm like, it's 15 minutes before 6.30, so it's 6.15. She said she's five minutes away. So that means she would have been there supposed to be by like 6.20, right? Okay. She's not there at 6.20. She's not there at 620. All right, bet. So I get the phone. I'm checking. I'm checking the phone. Be like, look, what's, what's up? I ain't texting her. I'm not like, yo, where are you at? I'm not like, yo, where are you at? Because no, bro, you told me. You're a grown woman. You told me you're going to be here at a certain time. So I expect you to be there at a certain time. Come 630. What happened? I'm going to tell you what I did. I skedaddled. I skirt, skirt, I slid, I slid, I went, I went about my way, you know what I'm saying, I was like, bro, I got motion, I went, I went and kicked it with uh, my fellas, and they had some females over there, so, you know, not, cool, we went to go shoot pool or whatever, but the whole time, riddle me this, tell me why, when I'm driving off, I'm almost to the next destination now, because look, you was late, you was late. And she hit me up like, where you at? It's 645. You told me you was going to be, you told me you was five minutes away at 615. Supposed to be there at 620. But I, we agreed upon 630. 630 came, I left. I'm not finna wait, bro. I'm not finna wait on you. you now you see the difference. I learned. I learned from the simping days. And I, and I uh, applied that to the future. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's better to be respected than to be liked. So I t I was basically showing this woman that you're going to respect my time. You're going to respect my time. And guess what? After that, she hit me up, calling me, FaceTiming me back to back to back to back. Yo, why did why you leave? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had this. I had blah, 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 blah. I don't care about that no more. Because it's like this, if you was number one on the depth chart, if, for my guys who know sports, if you was number one on the depth chart, you just got dropped the practice squad, baby. You got dropped the practice squad. Because you, you think if you're an athlete and you know what I'm saying, you don't show up in the NFL, they finna bench you. And baby girl, you got benched. But a coach. I wasn't a coach years ago. I was just, I wasn't even a player. I was the water boy. But through time and trials and tribulations, I'm coach. I'm GM now. I'm I'm GM. I'm owner. I'm a player coach. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of that. I might build Belichick. Calling the plays. Salary cap, all that. You know what I'm saying? So I left. She hit me up, blah, blah, blah. Few weeks go by. She see me out randomly. I'm at the mall buying some cologne and stuff like that. So she like, hey miss you you doing all right yeah i'm good how you doing just like that straight like that so she can see that i'm really not gawking over her no more because like in them two weeks period like she was hitting me up texting me you know what i'm saying watching my instagram story you know what i'm saying liking my instagram story liking being more active than she ever been being more active than she ever been liking stuff on the page but look, I'm not going for that. So I gave her one more chance. We ain't going on no date. But look, you finna come over to my house now. You coming over. Because look, I went out of my way to set something up for you. You was late. So I left. So she respected my time. So she was like, I... I respect what he got going. I respect that he's busy now. I respect that he put his foot down, whereas a lot of men would have waited. A lot of men would have been like, okay, it's past 630. I'm going to wait till 650. I'm going to wait till 7. Because, bro, I'm telling you, if you let a girl be like, if you let a woman be like, okay, y'all set up 630. 
or a time or something, something like that. And you let her be like, she get there at 7.30 and you still cool with it? She might, she gonna come along with it. She gonna get in the car. But I'm telling you, bro, she gonna be clowning you to her friends. Like, bro, I can do, man, I do whatever I want to that dude. Put your foot down, man. Put your foot down. So what if they leave? So what if you, so what if they don't like it, bro? Somebody will, bro. So what? You got to have that abundance mindset. Bro, God made a bunch of beautiful women. And there are a bunch of good women. I'm not that kind of guy that's going to tell you the woman, the women are the devil. They're not, bro. But some of them are. It's just like that, bro. You got good people. You got bad people. You just have to weave them out. You got to weave them out, bro. Don't, I'm not saying to go through life with that mindset of like, oh, man, women are anything. I'm done with women. No, you're not. You're not done with women. Because you're gonna you're gonna say that and then you're gonna go to the grocery store and see a woman like dang she different she fine she fine she different she what I'm looking for I had a dream about her last night you feel what I'm saying but nah bro from this day forward that woman has respected me she asked me have you ate she 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 trying to set up dates now. She trying to pull up now, just out the blue. Not even go spend no money. This is what you're doing. Let me come over and pull up on you. We watch TV or something. Oh, okay. She trying to do whatever to get back on good terms. Whole time, it's another lady. It's another woman. She acting exactly how she's supposed to. And guess what? I'm giving her the time of the day. She first string. She first string. I ain't talking about dating or exclusivity. You know what I'm saying? But she first string, though. She getting more attention than she is. Like I said, she's about third, fourth string practice squad, damn near. So what I'm saying is I can go on and on about this topic. And I'm and I am gonna go on and on about this topic in later videos, but I'm gonna go get this workout in. Pre-workout kicking in. I'm finna start tweaking, you feel what I'm saying? It's better to be respected than like if you gain some education, if something resonated with you, comment below, share your stories, share anything you're going through. If you agree with it comment if you disagree comment i don't really care but make sure y'all subscribe though whether you agree or disagree share this with your mama your auntie your cousin your brother your sister share with everybody share with that girl that curved you she may need to learn from what she been doing peace